Hello to everyone. And I would like to start to introduce you astrologer Crystal Karina. Hello, Karina. Hi, how are you? Thank you for I'm having me. Very excited. I would like to uh, start with the topic of the day karmic pattern in a natural chart and the secret degree. Yes, I'm excited to talk about that. So last video we did, we talked a little bit about the karmic patterns in a chart. And there's this cool little technique that I also use. It's called secret degree. So I'm excited to talk about that and give you guys more information um, based on that degree theory. That's very exciting. And um, tell us about the chart. Yes. So this chart is an anonymous chart. It's actually a famous person's chart. And I wanted to keep it anonymous because it's very, very interesting. And I'm probably going to do one more uh, chart on or interpretation on this chart, I mean, because it's just full with information. And when I reveal the identity of this person, you guys are going to know like, wow. So very famous person, very successful person at a very young age um, and very powerful chart. Uh, so can you please uh, tell us um, uh, how you can use um, uh, karmic pattern and combine with the secret degree? How? Yes. So let me talk a little bit about the secret degree. So this is a method that I learned from a very well-known Serbian astrologer, Nikola Stajanovic, which I know um, you're acquainted with him too. Um, he had an interesting theory that he developed in regard to each degree in a sign having the essence of a zodiac sign. For an example, we take the 20th degree of Leo Ascendant, it would have the essence of Scorpio. So as we count down, we would start from one degree, it's Aries, two degrees, Taurus, so on and so forth until we get 12 degrees, which is Pisces. And at 13 degrees, we will start over. So if you count from 13 to 20, 20 degree is Scorpio, which would give you another underlying energy of influence to the chart so if we look at one karmic pattern that i'm picking up in this chart it would be going straight to pluto pluto's in the fourth house it's in the sign of scorpio and scorpio rules emotions so does the fourth house it rules early family life and being in the 20th degree of Scorpio, it's also influenced again. So it's like a double Scorpio energy for this Pluto. This makes Pluto very dignified because Pluto now it's like, okay, I'm in my full element here. And we know that Pluto, you know, that's our karmic evolution and evolutionary astrology. We use Pluto to discover patterns that we've participated in the past and what we bring in this this life and we continue to repeat the lovely thing is is that we can change that and no longer continue those patterns but as you know we're developing and living our life we typically fall into those patterns so in looking at this chart when we have pluto in the fourth and how strong this scorpio pluto energies in the fourth this person in the past most likely had issues with expressing emotion uh, suppressing emotion, trauma, fear. Now, Pluto is squaring the sun, so it's going to bring in the sun royal energy, which it could be that this person was in positions of power and exercised or over exercised their power. According to Jeffrey Green and his work, when um, you look at Pluto in the fourth house, it typically shows that the person spent lots of lifetimes in a different sexual incarnation meaning if this person is a woman 
then the previous lifetime, they were a male energy. Vice versa, if they're a male now, in previous lifetimes, they were female energy. So it's like the ending and restarting of another cycle. It, there's also a lot of karma tied in with the family, family and career and status, because the fourth house is tied in with our family lineage and um, our early family upbringing. So very powerful chart that shows that there was power positions in the past, uh, played a lot of um, positions of controlling their environment, maybe manipulating people, things like that. Okay, so um, yeah, that's what that that's what I picked up just about the karma of, um, of this person. Just looking at that Pluto, I mean, that Pluto is really, really talking to the rest of the chart. We have first, we talked about Pluto squaring the sun, and I also talked about Pluto in the fourth, but Pluto's polarity is the 10th house and the moon is there too. So the moon, which is the mother archetype or the feminine energy, that's also something that's connected in past lifetimes that the person was not able to develop as well they were developing more of the masculine energy and this time around they need to kind of uh, walk away a little bit from that masculine energy and really embrace the feminine sensual energy but not without challenges because there's definitely some hard aspect that this moon is making so um, the person will have some karmic challenges in integrating and balancing the feminine and the masculine energy Mm -hmm. interesting interesting chart mm -hmm. yes so can you tell us about degrees yes so this is why i really love this degree theory and when i was learning this through studying under him and also reading his book um, what really called to me is how each degree has the essence of that zodiac sign. And in that, when we look at this chart and I started kind of, you know, and this is not the first chart I apply this degree theory to, I've applied it to lots of them, but this one speaks to me so much because I see repeated degrees of 16. So that's also showing to me as a karmic signature. And the 16th degree is ruled by the moon. And we already see the moon very prominent right near the MC at 16 degree. The ruler of Pluto, which is Mars, is at 16 degree Gemini. And then we see also an aspect squaring um, Venus at 16 degree in Virgo. V Venus then trines uh neptune at 16 degree capricorn neptune trines the moon so it forms this grand trine and a sextile so she has a kite configuration we're not going to talk about that because that will take forever uh, i mean this chart is just extremely interesting and in how everything's so intricate but how um i really thought that the 16 degree was interesting and showing as karmic patterns is that that the moon is ultimately ruling this degree because 16 degrees ruled by cancer and the moon being really high up there is influencing all these points so even though this person has venus in virgo at 16 degree most of the control is coming from the moon right and then the same thing with neptune and then we go to um mars which is a ruler of pluto and also we look at the ruler of the south node, which is in Leo, and it's close to this square to Pluto. So it's forming an applying square. So very tight in everything um, in regard to learning lessons about career achievement in the home, feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling comfort. Um, but this person came in with a lot of fears, a lot of fears, a lot of insecurity. It kind of feels this Pluto in the fourth would be more energy of like pulling a rug under your feet. And when we apply this degree theory, you can get a little bit more information. And what I'm getting, just like sensing the energy of the chart, 
and all the aspects that I can like put together and interpret is that they had a hard time regulating their emotions. Their emotions were very intense and the emotion energy from Scorpio is to suppress, to hide, to protect, right? It's that per, it's very protective energy. So all the intensity in early childhood that the parents um, had this child, and this person's not a child anymore, but the parent had this child experience triggered past life issues. So coming into, again, power struggles, being born into a family that's having power struggles and expressing that and this person needing to regulate the emotions so they'll be in control so developing a lot of controlling tendencies manipulating tendencies power tendencies fear which is then going to play out in their relationships and also how they value themselves because we have venus in the second house of values wow i i know Oh, I know it's uh, you, you can, you just a little scratch the surface, but it's like, wow. Yes, we can talk for days about this <laughs> and it's just very accurate. And without really going into this is aspecting that we're seeing the sun opposition, Saturn, Saturn squaring um, Pluto, Saturn squaring the moon without even going all into that, if you really just tap into the degree essence, the placement of the planet, the sign the planet is in, you're gonna get lots more of information because that degree gives you the underlying persona or agenda that the planet is, is expressing. Let me mm -hmm. give you another example. The moon at 16 degree in Taurus. So then the archetype of the cancer energy is very strong. We already have the moon at an angle. So this moon is controlling a lot of things. And the main controller is Venus because Venus is the ruler of the moon, which again, emotions, regulating emotions. This person's probably highly, highly gifted in psychic abilities intuition most likely interested in the occult and the sciences and esoteric uh, just because of all that influence of the 16 degree it's tying in uranus and neptune um and forming this tight configuration where you know you build everything up from there and you can go into lots of life stories yes. uh, can you please tell us about this uh, south knot uh, and a little bit more about this degree Yes, so the south node is actually in the sign of Gemini and the ruler of the south node is Mercury, nine degrees. So it's Sagittarius energy, lots of knowledge and wisdom in Leo. And it's also in the 12th house. So it's a little bit hidden. Um, this person senses things out uh, before they act or speak and they gather a lot of wisdom. That, that's literally how this communication is going to stand out. But it's also, I've seen this with a lot of singers. When we have Mercury in the 12th, they, they have a good singing voice. We do want to see some aspects to Venus and there is some aspect to Venus. So good singing voice because they're able to connect to angelic energy through the 12th house. But the 28th degree in the south node which both the south and the north node are going to carry that right because they're completely opposite to each other is also a cancer degree when we continue on to uh count down from 13 all the way through 28 we're going to get again the degree of cancer and the 28th degree is going to be the same thing as a 16 degree or the four degree Four degrees ruled by cancer, 16 degrees ruled by cancer, and 28 degree is ruled by cancer. So they're going to express similarly. Again, this moon influencing the south node and influencing the north node. And she has something called the skip step, which we are not going to talk about now, but I can do a video about that if you guys are interested. Maybe you can, can you Can we please do this video? Uh, can you put on your list skip steps? And yes. Yes, I'll put it on my list. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's another major karmic issue. And the planet that is um, ruling this 
skip step is Jupiter and Jupiter is the ruler of the North Node. So that's going to be very interesting. If you guys are interested, comment in the comments below and I'll definitely do that next. But yes, that's why I said this chart is just so interesting and the way that this person's life has unraveled is also very suiting to the chart. Like they're living their charged their energy. Um, they're in, in a much better place now, but they did express some of the shadow energies that this Pluto is going to have you go through throughout your early childhood. But then you you gain power, you gain control, and you're using the South Node, which the lessons were from humanitarian freedom fighter, because we have Mars there to you leading and you being creative and being able to express yourself with joy, because that's the house of joy, the house of royalty, the house of um, creativity, right? So her being able, him being able to express themselves that way. Mm -hmm. mm. That's, yes, very interesting because um, I forgot to mention um, my uh, curiosity. It's a uh, karmic pattern and uh, how it um, can influence a uh, client in uh, present life because we know in hypnosis how it's nice to know the shortcut, how we can work, where is the mostly painful thing. I actually forgot to introduce myself, but um, anyway, my my name is Adelina Sky, and I <laughs> and I am uh, all my life. It's a passion. It's all about hypnosis and transformation okay never mind it's not about me uh anyway uh, can i ask uh, one more question yes yes uh yeah so uh, um looking at the chart so secret degree uh combined with the karmic uh, patterns we can look in the whole na natal chart yes the entire natal chart and when you have a chart that has repeated degrees ruled by an underlying sign you can conclude the major karmic pattern that this person continues to play over and over and over and for this person is emotions and control so being able to repress emotions and control them so they won't feel vulnerable so they won't express vulnerability to others. And that's how you can use it to kind of quickly just like snapshot, right? And then you could go deep into the chart and we can start looking at the aspects and building this beautiful story or not so beautiful story, depending on the lifestyle, lifetimes. Not everyone's gonna have a bad, you know, like super tra traumatic bad lifetime but most of us do because we keep on incarnating to change that karma but there are some stories and some gifts that we also bring in so we can embrace both but whenever we have trouble in a certain area of life like this person actually has been having trouble building their own home and uh, being in secure relationships which is already going to show with the moon and the sun because the moon and the sun not being in harmony there's some trouble because that's your first example, the family dynamic from for the, the beginning of your um, years. And then we have Pluto in the fourth again. So just kind of tying all these little tiny things, uh, the degrees and um, for her, this person having so many degrees in similar like areas, like, um, sorry, having so many planets in similar degrees like between 14 to 19 degrees all over the chart it just shows the intensity and um how she's expressing herself throughout this lifetime mm -hmm. it's almost like signature already yeah? yes a signature exactly mm -hmm. and this is how you uh, you as a um hypno a hypnotherapist can use a chart and you can regress a person to different lifetimes over and over and then you start seeing the pattern but if you look at the chart and you know how to interpret this combined with past life regression 
you can really like get to the bottom of things because you'll know in the chart is saying this and in past life regressions you can build the stories yeah that's true um the the my curiosity is um when we look at the, the natural chart how past life karma can affect present life of the client oh yes my, my curiosity is about uh, like um, uh, the first uh, if you still do a reading or you just do a teaching because I know you you have your course and uh, can you tell us about that yes so I'm still doing readings and I'll put the link in the description below you guys could check out my schedule but my passion is teaching teaching astrology so I do have several courses, one of them being the beginner's course. I have an intro to astrology course and an astrology 101, which is for, for beginners. But at the end, you're going to be more like intermediate. There's lots of information, very easy to understand and learn. And I have handouts, flashcards. So you're able to um, practice and learn astrology in a fun way at the same time. It's really good for any type of practitioner that is trying to learn astrology so they can use it with their own practice. But yeah, that's one of my passions, just teaching and sharing my knowledge and connecting with my students. Yes, thank you. I just would like would you leave any um, uh, information and um, I would like to encourage anybody who um, like to expand their consciousness and find out um, what's uh, your past life experience, how it's influenced you, and uh, you can start on your own, like uh, follow the journey, learn about yourself and how you can help yourself. What's the point to learn? It's how you can uh, change your life in a better way yes yes absolutely and i've said this and i'm probably going to keep on saying this for the rest of my astrological career that astrology changed my life and it can change yours too it changes the people people's life because we're able to explore a more darker deeper personality that we have and then say is this something I'm willing to live in and embrace? Or is this something I'm going to evolve and no longer align to this vibration? And that's when we really start working out some karma and really expressing the better side of us. So yeah, i extremely fascinated with how astrology can help us. It's like the door, the gateway to everything and it unlocks so many things. And it's just... A journey where you're always learning and i'm not perfect i continue to work on myself and i do it through astrology and modalities like the one you practice yeah but it's already fun uh, stuff maybe one day uh when i'm gonna be ready um i can share how astrology and hypnosis changed my life it was um yes pluto transit my natural sun so big transformation but um pluto teach how to be a positive too yeah so i i, I just uh, so grateful to you because i am able to ask the question i able to learn a little bit and i like uh, energy i like the way how you explain it's a very pleasantly for me the energy i like i feel like it's easy to absorb information not all a person not everybody who knows um subject they can teach and i, I can feel like you can do good job so uh, no that don't it's my true uh, i'm really honest i'm saying whatever i thinking oh, um thank you yeah and um as much as um when you talk about karma and uh how it can affect the present life um people when we learn 
what our karma is about we can find the remedies and after you understand it's not so not so not so scary yes exactly not so scary and i think that's what astrology gives you those remedies i mean um this is very unique the the way that i see a chart i don't just use astrology like like ancient astrology i'm using other methods the method method that i learned under under nicola and you know jeffrey wolf so i combine all these together and, and i just kind of sense the energy of the chart and everything kind of comes together for me so this is how i feel i can help others and empower them to heal themselves because i'm not going to heal these people i'm going to empower you so you can heal yourself and that's what happens with me yeah astrology. it's a big opportunity yes ah uh, by the way i would like to say uh thank you for that remedy what you told me i printed uh image of sun and i put in my socks it's like a tattoo and thank you it's working i i, I like it thank you so yeah, much yeah. And, and, and that shows you how with your placements in your chart and when we pull the archetype and also pull the degree and how it's expressing itself you can then apply remedies that are going to help you in that area of life so thank you for telling me that it's working i love it i apply remedies all through my natal chart so i'm able to you know concentrate more i have neptune squaring mercury in my chart it's a separating square but it does make me a little bit like a floating balloon so <laughs> i have to have some remedies to ground me down and not be too spiritual and spacey can you teach us one quick workshop about the something secret degree remedy Oh yeah, of course, of course. Um, uh, next year, I already have a lot of the workshops that I'm going to be working on. I'm actually going to launch my astrology community community, in which we're going to have a lot of workshops, learning astrology, working with the moon. So I have a cool agenda, and that's going to be launching soon for people to sign up. So like that, they get to work with me personally for that year. So in my membership, I'm going to be um, offering classes. And if you pay for the entire year, you get all these classes at a reduced rate. If you like to pay as you go, it's going to be increased, but you won't get any of the membership benefits, which would be having the live Q&A with me. And I can put all the details in the description with the link that explains all that because it's launching next week. Excited, but keep my emotion. Can we send some um, that loving gratitude to Nikola Stojanovic? Yes. I, I just, as much as we were talking about, just send um, deep gratitude for the knowledge and thank you Nikola Stojanovic for to sharing his knowledge with us. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, and um, I hope to. Um, I hope I. W I hope for another one, for another video with you. Of course. And I hope it's gonna be encourage some people to um, to see who do hypnosis, who do some um, psychology. How you can combine knowledge with a different way to help uh, clients. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you later. See everyone later. Bye. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.